and welcome to the show. Thank you for joining me and thank you for all subscribing, you wonderful people. Over 600 subscribers has gone up by 200 within a week, so that's pretty special. Thank you very much, everyone, and uh, well, wait until the end of the video to see what I've done to celebrate that fact. It's good. In the meantime, we'll start with news of something I'm not really sure what it is. But yes, 2019 BattleBot season starts on June the 7th on Discovery and June the 12th on the Science Channel. But tune into our Twitch channel, says BattleBot, on June the 6th for something amazing. I've no idea what it is. I don't think anybody really has an idea of what it is unless they worked on BattleBots. So um, yeah, just tune in and see what it is. That'll be exciting. Next, some merch news, as the Hexbug BattleBots Rivals Blacksmith and Bite Force set has been released early in USA. I am gutted that I can't get hold of this yet, it looks absolutely awesome. I reported on it previously, so go and check out that video for more details on it. But yes, $49.99 is the asking price and it's available over on the Hexbug website. Now we turn our attentions to the UK live circuit and Extreme Robots who have kicked off their 2019 tour. John Findlay, who is the showrunner, has put out a post, however, on Facebook to say that the shows are changing. They will now become a team event where four teams will battle it out to try and earn points over the weekend. The two teams with the most points fight it out at the end of the weekend and whoever wins, their whole team gets trophies and things, so it's a different way of doing the tournament, and I think it's a pretty good idea personally. It also seems to be working very well, as we've had updates throughout the weekend on how teams have been doing. Team captains for this weekend in Portsmouth have been Team Ripper, Team Shock, Team Beast and Team Mingo, all battling it out for points, and it would seem that Team Ripper were in the lead early on, but Team Shock have taken a shocking victory and seem to be uh, absolutely eradicating their opponents, beating Manta twice, as well as Aftershock, absolutely glocking the wonderful Apex, and um, yeah, splitting it again, which is always fun. At the time of the recording, we don't know who has actually won, and that will be updated in the report next week, but yes, it all looks to be very exciting for this year's Extreme Robots, and hopefully we should be on one of the teams in September with Bullfrog, yes. Yes, we should, and I'm very much looking forward to it. <laughs> uh, anyway, Team Rubbish Robot Wars on Facebook have put up a video of their new drum spinner driving around, which is looking awesome. We also have an almost finished look at Galactus. These are two robots that I've been reporting on over the last few months. Uh, Galactus there with its final paint job looking awesome. And it should have been in Portsmouth. Don't know whether it was or not, but we'll see. In some shocking news that came out last night, that's Saturday night, Tom Brewster has put the shells of Toron 1 and 2 up for sale on the FRA forum in the UK. This is some big news, I didn't think he would ever get rid of both Torons, but Monsoon is his baby now and uh, I imagine the funds will go towards a new version of that, so all the best Tom and I hope somebody good gets those Toron chassis, I really wish I could, but you know, money and stuff. Turning to YouTube, over on the Sam Elliott 64 YouTube channel, the Robocast returned and the team of Sam, Anderson and Steve have been looking at all of the competitors from this series of BattleBots and giving their thoughts on them. Um, it's a long old podcast, it's split into two, but it's definitely worth a listen, so go and check it out. That is Sam Elliott 64's YouTube channel and it is the Robocast. Lastly, from the world of Woodrow itself, I will be recording a special episode of the Grand Slam ahead of Series 2, which is going to be whiteboard fights. This is so I can test out the new cameras, so I can test out the new angles, but it's also so I can get some practice in before the actual recording takes place. This will all be uploaded to YouTube. It won't just be special fights or anything. I'm going to try and produce it as one whole episode. So the fight card you can see on the screen at the minute is the fights that will be within the show. Exciting times ahead, but where will I be filming it? Well, to celebrate over 500 subscribers, I've bought myself the shed finally. Hurrah, hooray, and the Grand Slam is moving forwards and will be coming this year. Hurrah, that is one thing I'd hope to do this year, but it is happening, thank goodness. And that is all for this time. Once again, thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed. Um, yeah, it really means a lot to me. And uh, here's to the next hundred. Hopefully, you know, this might just be it. I might have peaked. 
Oh God, I might have peaked. Help. Bye.